State health officials are sounding the alarm as COVID-19 case numbers begin to slowly climb. That's our top story tonight at 10. I'm Siobhan Bryant. And I'm Greg Screws. And with the highly transmissible new Omicron variant and yet another wave of this pandemic, health officials are saying you should be vigilant this holiday season. News 19's Madison Neal joins us now live. So Madison, how did doctors characterize the new coronavirus variant? Today, a UAB infectious disease specialist explained the Omicron variant like this. When a meteorologist tells you that a storm's moving in, you get prepared, you get into your safe place. It's the same thing with this rapidly spreading new variant. You need to be listening to your health officials, getting prepared, and of course, doing whatever they're telling you to do to prepare for this new kind of storm moving in, the Omicron variant. I would like for the holiday season for us just to tap the brakes a little bit and rethink how we're all dealing with COVID. Alabama State Health Officer Dr. Scott Harris says when it comes to the Omicron variant and a new wave of this pandemic, he's seeing familiar trends. Really for the past two to three weeks, it's been clear that our, our numbers are going the wrong direction. Here's what we know. Omicron is twice as transmissible as Delta. Vaccines are not as effective against it and common monoclonal antibody drugs do not work to treat it. Estimates are we prevented 70 to 85% of, of hospitalizations by giving those uh, monoclonal antibody infusions uh, within five days of onset of symptoms. Alabama doctors say now is the time to heed warnings and focus on slowing the spread to avoid a major spike here in Alabama, especially with travel and gatherings this week. Early data suggest it might not be as aggressive in terms of symptoms and severe illness in unvaccinated people as Delta, but we don't know that yet. So if you are unvaccinated, please get vaccinated. It's, it's not too late. Because they say the vaccine is still the most effective tool to fight the virus. If you've had two shots, um, there's about a 70% chance that you'd have a breakthrough infection. Uh, if you get a booster, that chance is reduced to about 30%. So the booster does seem to matter a lot. And doctors and doctors are urging people to, of course, go back to the basics this week. They say that you should be washing your hands frequently, avoiding large gatherings, and of course, wearing your mask if you're in a crowded indoor space. And Dr. Scott Harris says that the best thing that you could do this week is to even go as far as getting tested for COVID-19 before going to those Christmas gatherings. Reporting live in Huntsville, Madison Eel, News 19.